Boris Johnson was the victim of fake news yesterday, not caused by Putin's propaganda team, rather several trusted British news outlets. You know, the usual suspects who brand themselves as being drenched in journalistic integrity, honour and thoroughness. As our Prime Minister attended the NATO summit, a video emerged of him standing on his own with his hands in his pockets as other world leaders slapped each other on the back. Several media outlets jumped on this. Boris isolated at NATO. Boris ignored by world leaders. In reality, the opposite is true. Let's play the clip. So for our radio listeners there, what we can see is that Boris Johnson is essentially just being greeted by all and sundry. Macron gives him a big handshake. There's Joe Biden shuffling towards him rather slowly, of course. But um, there we are. Now, that's, of course, the fact that Boris Johnson was far from isolated. And even if he had been left isolated, that would have been a good thing, wouldn't it? If other world leaders felt the need to shun Boris, it could only have been because of their jealousy at the fact that Britain is now a sovereign, independent nation. It's one of the first countries in the world to emerge from the COVID crisis, and we've led the way when it came to the Ukraine conflict. If it really was the case that EU leaders snubbed our Prime Minister, it would have been because they felt the need to prove what a tight-knit little club they're in. It would have been, you're not coming to my birthday party vibes, wouldn't it? But the sad fact for the EU leaders is that we already had plans that evening anyway. I think the reporting of Boris at NATO highlights a somewhat masochistic streak running through our media. They want Britain to be isolated, to be a little country with no prospects, who is the pariah of the world, led by a clown who's the butt of other world leaders' jokes. It's sad, that, isn't it? If you don't like it here, there are loads of other countries you can go to and live in. Take your pick. Nobody's stopping you. Why spend your time pumping out fake news that's deliberately designed to make us and our leader look weak? To undermine us, to pour scorn on our nation. It undermines their journalistic credentials and reveals the true extent of their bias. And the fact that a lot of people just jumped on the bandwagon as well and started retweeting it without bothering to check the full clip shows you just how gleeful they are to jump on any chance to slag off Boris. It's pathetic. Many of these people voted for Jeremy Corbyn. Well... He'd probably want to pull us out of NATO, wouldn't he? He thinks NATO is responsible for the Ukraine crisis, for goodness sake. He'd have been much more isolated than Boris at that meeting, wouldn't he? At least these other world leaders know who Boris is. If Keir Starmer turned up, they'd probably all think he was someone's chauffeur or a really dull personal assistant. There were calls where other world leaders stood on their own for a bit as well too, weren't they? But I suppose the headline, some world leaders stand on their own while Boris also stands on his own for a bit after saying hello to everyone doesn't really generate many clicks. And aside from all that, I don't particularly think Boris looked too uncomfortable in those brief, fleeting moments where he was standing alone. I personally don't want a PM who feels the need to pat everyone on the back and give big, meaningless hugs to his counterparts from lesser nations.